Kitchen. Hey, welcome to the Cheap Seats on 96.3 FM. We are streaming live. We're streaming live. We are on. We are live. We are live. <laughs> I wonder how live we are, but we are at the Hampton Inn, west side of town. Good ready, morning, Lloyd? sports fans. Uh, <laughs> boy, that just snuck up on us. Scott Kirby, Jake Johnson, Lloyd snuck Lloyd up Kirby, on us. He Jim gave Ash. us a two-minute countdown. I don't I never heard a countdown. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you were eating that waffle. That's right. He waffle. didn't finish the waffle he said he's going to eat. Oh, what's this? Hey, uh, we do have a uh, guest with us this morning, Titus Cannon. What's up? What's going on? Nothing. Just in town for the weekend. Titus has a, a bye week. You're up at Rockford College playing some ball up there. Yep. Uh, it's your bye week, so I decided to come home, get some home cooking. Uh, been at school for, what, maybe six, six, six weeks. weeks? Yep. How's it going? Uh, it's good. I'm getting to know a lot of people. So Big adjustment, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you don't come home to a home-cooked meal. you got to fend for yourself, maybe do some laundry. <laughs> So yeah. you, you didn't realize how good you had it, did you? <laughs> yeah. I, I just don't like folding my clothes. That's the worst part. <laughs> so you wash them and then probably just leave them in the clothes uh, yep. basket and pick <laughs> out what you need. That's typical. I was going to say my boy resembles I still that remark. That. <laughs> <laughs> if that's the worst of your problems, then uh, I think you've got her made, Titus. Uh, that's just part of being in college. Uh, priorities. Yep. Or if you're in Scott's shoes. Being an adult. Just, just, <laughs> yeah, just life itself. <laughs> Not going to lie. I still do it. I still do it. Uh, so, Titus, you're back for the weekend. Uh, school's going pretty good. Uh, how, how's your team looking up there? And, uh, you know, is it uh, as far as uh, gameplay from high school to college, probably a pretty, a pretty big step. Uh, yeah, there's some changes. Uh, teams are obviously they're going to be better. Uh, I think they're uh, they're just like – they're more in tune with their game plan, I feel like. Cause, uh, I feel like they, they drill it more, practice longer. Things are just different. And the game's also a little faster. Players are faster, uh, stronger. So I feel like that changes things as well. And it's just, um, it's just a different feel as well. Different feel, but uh, it's, it's college. <laughs> and hey, there's Joe Ryan. Where are you going, Joe? Huh? You gonna get a waffle? Something to eat. Just let you guys carry on. I didn't want to interrupt anything. Yeah. Hey Joe. Hey, it's Joe Ryan. Titus, how you doing? Titus. Hey, Titus is smooth, aren't you? Smooth. He's good. How you doing? Good. We've already covered that. Yeah. Get here on time. That's why I was avoiding you. I was letting you guys just carry on. You guys were all in your mode. That's why you were avoiding us. Yeah. Yeah, sounds right. <laughs> Ty, are you a uh, football Cardinal fan or Bear fan? Uh, I don't know. Really I have a favorite football team. Okay, I'll grab you some gear out of the car. You know, <laughs> okay. me. Because guess who they're beating this weekend? Yeah. The Bears. <laughs> you guys aren't beating anybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if you've Actually, watched them I'm going to that game with my parents on Sunday. Where? In Chicago. Well, it's at Arizona. It's in Arizona. Oh, well, then, it's, maybe it's next week. Yeah, you know, next week. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what. I, I don't know. Like, I'm not really a Bears fan, so I don't know who they're playing. But How I just can know you not be a Bears is. fan? Because he, he's <laughs> for America's team. Haven't you no. seen the gear he's got? <laughs> no. I, because, I, listen, I've been around. You want his, these? I've been around. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've been around his dad and his brother the past two weekends, ref and football. And. They're on the field with their phones, <laughs> ref, and just looking at scores and and you know what teams they have. Yeah. It's freaking hilarious. Yeah. I just I don't have a favorite football team. I just like like certain players, so I don't really have a favorite team anymore. All right, who's your favorite player? Uh, right now, I think I like Odell Beckham the oh, most. Odell makes some catches. Yeah, I like I just like a lot of receivers and some running backs. Who's your favorite lineman? <laughs> Come on. Now, hold on a second. On. That should have been real easy. You should have popped two or three names from last yeah. year's team right off the top of your head. Well, I'm Those NFL. are your favorite NFL, linemen. I don't, I don't know any NFL linemen. <laughs> well, well, you just left it wide open. Yeah. Favorite linemen. I that should have been three guys from last year right now. I think the linemen, they, I don't think they get the kind of credit that they deserve. I mean, they're just not really in the public. You know, I mean, like, really. They don't get the limelight. And often linemen are the smartest people on the field. You know that, right? <laughs> you guys get all the looks and the, yeah. you know, the, everybody. Everybody talks about you in the paper, but the linemen are the smartest, toughest people on the field. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> hey, what was your what was your highest game you had last year? 
for rushing. Uh, you had a big. What was the big game you had? Because I don't remember the number. I think it was two hundred eighty something. Two hundred and eighty yards, it man. That's incredible. Like that, yeah. Yeah, man, that's when you were smooth. <laughs> yeah. What position are you going to play up school? I'm playing receiver now. Yeah? Hey, well, mostly, you have it all. Uh, mostly slot receiver. You're a pretty gifted kid. Yeah. Like we've talked about before, I mean, your brother's got the looks, but <laughs> but you're pretty gifted. <laughs> Tank's a good-looking guy, you got to admit. <laughs> There's some place somewhere where Tank could model. Uh, I mean, we haven't found it yet, <laughs> but it's out there. Thank. I hope you're not listening. <laughs> no, he's in. still sleeping. And I see your dad buzzing around on that Harley. No, it's not a Harley. It's not. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Whatever it is, I see you buzzing around on it. It's yeah, pretty cool. It is. He like he likes it. So you miss high school football? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's like, it's just like it's it's the thing about playing where you grew up. It's kind of. I don't the fan know. base yeah, is different. There's something special about it. Yeah. Oh, well, it's the greatest sport in the world. Yeah. You know, and all the parents come out and all the. Yeah. The community and all this, everybody knows what you're doing. Yeah, it's, it's good stuff. You good football player, Titus, and pretty good basketball player. <laughs> Thanks. And I heard you can steal bases in baseball. <laughs> yeah. You remind, no you, way. <laughs> you remind me of myself, only different. <laughs> <laughs> know what I mean? Jesus. Hey, these guys, like, what did they? Did they? Would you give these guys taffy or something? Yeah, they can't talk. <laughs> well, well, I thought uh, we were streaming live on the web video but uh, no, apparently we, it didn't work we knew it wasn't gonna so work. so back to the drawing board I, I guess <laughs> I just did. don't know what I'm doing here <laughs> it didn't work so is it, so you're home just for the weekend yeah I'm leaving uh, probably Sunday night sometime and then uh, that's that's where from here how many miles uh, like a couple it hours? takes like two and a half hours like a couple hours away yeah and the uh, did you notice a difference like in size of everybody and uh, um, you know what I mean? Like, some yeah, big dudes on that team. There's, right? there are some big kids. There's a lot of, there's a lot of tall people too. Like, I don't know. It's just weird. Yeah, they like everybody to be about <laughs> six one and above. Yeah. And then when you go D one, they like everybody to be about six four and above. Yeah. It's amazing how it, the size of some of those guys. Yeah. And then in, in high school, you just don't see it. But no, it's just not there. What uh, did your coaches decide, receiver? Uh, or did you? No, it's just us. No, I mean. When you chose what you wanted to do. Oh yeah, yeah. I uh, I picked what I wanted. I think I think they wanted me to play receiver there. I think they were kind of leaning towards me playing that, and that's what I wanted to do. In what style of offense? Or are uh, these guys already asked that? No, it's kind of it's kind of like a spread offense. All right. Well, that's good then. Yeah. You get the ball. <laughs> yeah. So they put you in the slot or yeah, wide? In I the slot. slot mostly. See, I think you could be that guy. Yeah. You, you got that yak right? <laughs> yeah. The catchability. They just pop out some bubble screens to you and let you pop around. Yeah. You good athlete, man. What else you guys got for him? Tell you what, I'm glad I sat down. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know we what I mean? Titus, what, what, who would you have talked to if I hadn't sat down? I don't know. I guess well, I would have been we talking to myself. Talking. <laughs> I mean, we, we just thought we'd let you earn your money a little bit here. I, mean, <laughs> I think I've earned it. Can I go get breakfast? <laughs> yep, go ahead. You're, you're, <laughs> Did you get some breakfast? <laughs> no, I ate at home. Oh, man, you got to grab something yeah, here to he's go. He's home for the weekend. It, he's getting home-cooked meals. He hasn't had that for six weeks. Yeah, but there's waffles and stuff in there. I have waffles at college. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess you yeah. do, don't you? I don't have waffles. <laughs> That's why I like waffles when I come out here. Waffles are good. Waffles are good. Uh, <laughs> waffles are good. Waffles are good. That just that's just the truth. Uh, Titus, there's some questions that were were oh. going to be asked last year. Uh, we didn't get to them, and uh, Lloyd just texted me some questions for you. Uh, so I'm sure they're I'm sure they're intelligent. <laughs> pretty good stuff. This is from Peyton Anderson. And this is obviously from last year. Yeah. When is he going to let me get some touches? <laughs> <laughs> as soon as he gets healthy. <laughs> <laughs> he's pretty, he's, that's been a year. Is he healthy yeah. yet? Yeah. Uh, I think he just had shoulder surgery uh, over the summer. Okay. So I think he's working towards it. Um, <laughs> I, so he wasn't able to play this year, but I think he's hopeful for next year. I'm not sure what he's thinking about baseball season. Is he still in school? Uh, he should he, be. Yeah. yeah. High yeah. school? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know how old he is. Uh, he's a hurt. he's a junior, junior this year. Yeah. Oh well, then you get your touch next year, Peyton. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is from Tyler Vance. What's he think of the future of the Railers? Now, uh, you, well, you were at the game last night. Yeah. And I thought they played well. They last did. Night they played a Taylorville team that you know many thought would come in and just destroy Lincoln yeah they, uh, it was actually really impressive last year we only scored one touchdown on them and it was the first drive of the game after that we were shut out and they put up what 26 points on them and yeah, at one uh, point yeah, yeah one point they were down four it was like 26 to I don't know 22 maybe 
Twenty thirty to twenty six. Well, thirty twenty six. Thirty yeah. thirty seconds into the game, Taylorville scores. Yeah, that, you're like oh, that didn't look like good sign. It was like boy, two plays, this is I not going to be a pleasant night. Yeah, uh, but so what do you what do you how do you uh, how do you see this team and you know uh, they're they're talented. Uh, uh, they got some big boys who are seniors and juniors that are stepping up for them. That uh, got some time last year. Uh, they're playing a lot better this year. Uh, they got talent on the outside too with uh, Noah Funk and Drayden's a good quarterback. Uh, Jaden Paulus is good. Uh, Jaden Graham's good and uh, Colton Holiday. He's, yeah. uh, he's really How's impressed that? me. Uh, he's a big. He's big and strong. First, that first year. First ever time playing. he's ever played. He scored three touchdowns this year, I think. Yeah. So he where's said, he been? Yeah. I don't know. That's what I told him last night. I saw him. I told him I was like, dude, you're good. Why have you not been playing? He said, I don't know. I, he's strong. That's, and he can yeah. catch already. Plus yeah. he's going to go any me. DBs yeah. six foot or below. Yeah, he's, he's go tall. Everybody and and grab he's, the ball. he's fast, too. He's not slow. That's what, He's impressive. Yeah, yeah, he's a good athlete. Yeah. And and Drayton was a stud last night. Yeah, he, he ran I never figured too. out why Taylorville kept running up the field. Yeah. They, kept those, <laughs> they would light those ends up and have them run up field, and he'd yeah. step up underneath them and get six, eight yards a pop. Yeah. Speaking of yeah, Drayden, great game. Speaking of <laughs> he Drayden, did. he wants to know who uh, who's your favorite rapper and why. Uh, <laughs> my favorite rapper. <laughs> That's not Santa Claus. Not <laughs> rapping yeah. presents. Yeah. Mom uh, raps, the pa- raps the presents, man. Uh, I don't know. I like a lot of rappers. I'm. I think my favorite would probably be uh, J Cole, just because. I don't know. I probably listen to most of his music, and I just like almost every song he puts out. So he's probably my favorite. Who? J Cole. J. Cole. J. Cole. J. Cole. J. Cole is what they called me. J. Cole. J. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> you ever listen yeah. to Tom Petty? No. I didn't think so. That's all. <laughs> this, is, this, <laughs> this question's from uh, Alec B. What uh, is your favorite high school lunch? Favorite high school lunch? Oh, that one's easy. That's uh, General Says Chicken. Every time we, this is only, a, we had it on Thursdays, and it was like every two or three weeks. Every time we had it, me, Alec Bailey, and Ben Grunder had a nice celebration during our uh, Spanish four class. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of chest bumps, yelling out General Sos, and it was just, that's just our favorite lunch. All right. That's good stuff. <laughs> during your Spanish class, yeah. no General Sos Chinese, right? <laughs> yeah, it was, okay. that was just our class we Do had Do you know that he is? I, what? <laughs> But he's Chinese? Who? General So. Yeah, he, well, that's where you, you get it. That. Chinese restaurants. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I, guess I, I, don't. I don't know. <laughs> this is from DP. What's your favorite TV show? Favorite TV show? Uh, family Guy. <laughs> <laughs> family Guy. It's a good choice. It's just funny. I like it. Uh, what's your favorite cereal? Frosted Flakes. That's what I had this morning, actually. Frosted. You got waffles in there, man. <laughs> This is from Keegan. Keegan, I, I ain't gonna pronounce that last name because I'll mess it up. How you say that? Keegan Houghton. Houghton. Okay. Do you think I was? Do you? This is from him. Do you Don't think Keegan was actually too fat to play wide receiver, <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or the coach is just mean? Uh, uh, you want me to answer uh, that one? Yeah. <laughs> you can take the time. Uh, I remember saying to Keegan. You know, I just don't see you running down the football field <laughs> in a Central State 8 game and catching a ball. Well, and he I goes, mean, I'm going to. I'm going to. I actually remember, remember when he caught it. I threw him a touchdown against uh, Decatur McArthur. Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> and he popped right up looking at me. I did. I just did. <laughs> it was wow. funny. Did he get game ball for it? I don't think so. We were yeah, we didn't have enough money. We were keeping all the <laughs> We weren't giving them out then. <laughs> no, well, that, we, that's all the questions we have for you. That's all you got, Lloyd? Oh, that's pretty good, though. That's good. I mean, <laughs> good questions. And he answered them quick. He knows what he likes. Yeah. Huh? You're. Uh, did you Did you think about playing any other sports up there at school? Um, I was thinking about maybe basketball, but I don't think so now. A lot of the football players want me to run track, but I definitely don't think I want to do that. That just doesn't yeah. sound like fun to me. <laughs> I don't think it would be fun either, but you yeah. might be good at it. Uh, I don't know. That, you know college sports uh, probably a little more of a commitment. Yeah, you know? and honestly, yeah. I don't think I want to do two sports. That'd be that was tough. The thing. I mean, yeah. you, got, you still have your studies, yeah. you know, and stuff like that. And there's also spring football, too, that I wanted to do. So I, that's why I don't think I want to do a second sport. No, I wouldn't either. You're right. Now, what, uh, right what conference are you up there in? And uh, what other teams do you play? We're in the NACC, I believe. Um, we haven't even started conference play yet. We've had our three non-conference games first, and next we play um, 
I believe we play Wisconsin Lutheran or something like that in Wisconsin. Any games around here? Or is it all up north? I don't think so. I think our closest game will be at home in Rockford. Uh, Rockford and that's what, about two and a half, three yeah. hours away? It, well, it just depends how fast you drive. I think I made it home in two hours yesterday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, uh, I hope mom and dad aren't like, so We don't want to act like your parents here, but let's slow her down. Well, my that. brother got there in two hours, too, so. You know, yeah. He needs to slow it down, too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Tank, tank, tank. tank I tell you what, Tank took care of the flowers for a couple summers. Yeah. The most beautiful downtown we ever had. <laughs> I think he's a florist. <laughs> that's what, tell him I think that's what he ought to get into. I'll let him know. Uh, They're in Eureka November 10th. Eureka. Look at, look at him go. <laughs> Thanks. You're in Eureka November 10th. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you know, that's just, uh, that's not too far away. That's uh, about 45 minute hour drive to there. So, Lincoln, uh, let's get up and support uh, the Rockford. What's your mascot? Rockford Regents. I don't know what that is. I don't either. <laughs> it's kind of like a railer man. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what? Reg What's a railer man? Regents? Yeah. What? They're I mean, like a bank. They, they've had a <laughs> I don't, I don't know. We don't even have, like, like it's not. Our thing is our uh, logo is like an R and a U for oh, Rockford University, go. so I don't I don't know. You only have a hmm. okay. We have a mascot, but I think it's a cat. <laughs> so, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna tell you what. As long as he's playing mice, you're a winner. Are you sure you're even enrolled? In yeah. The I mean, you don't know where his games are at. You don't know if he has a mascot. That's that's, that's like he's a freshman. He's got a lot yeah. going on. Man. That's two months away. I, I haven't looked that far ahead in the schedule. Yeah. No, he's just know. getting his feet wet. It'll be all right. We're gonna talk to you in November. You're gonna know more. Yeah. yeah. When was that? You're what cold day? too, aren't you? Yeah, it, it is cold. Keep chattering out here. November 10th. <laughs> 10th, November 10th. Mark that on the calendars. Maybe we'll go there. Do a live, do a live show. I'll bet a buck against it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they've legalized high school yeah. gambling now. <laughs> We're not going. You know so, that. Titus, uh, how long you back? Just probably till tomorrow? Uh, uh, yeah, till Sunday. I think we'll probably... Uh, Josh Lennar is one of my friends. Also goes to Rockford, so he's back for the weekend. So uh, I think oh, we'll probably we should, be, is he playing? Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. He's playing. Yeah, we should have had him come on and talk. Yeah, hey. so we'll probably be leaving tomorrow night around probably six seven. Well, Josh should come on and visit us next time. Yeah, I'll let him know next time we're uh, back in town. So what uh, what do you have planned for today? Just kind of chilling. Yeah, I think I'm just hanging out with some friends. You got friends? <laughs> Are you oh, that's funny. Joe's friend? <laughs> that's, that's funny. You said. Hey, so if there's one, if there's one, something you want your mom to cook, what is it when you're home? Uh, chicken Alfredo. Ooh, there you go. That's my favorite. You hear that, mom? She listening? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I she, think she's watching TV right she now. She might be listening. You she never may know. be. I did tell her I was coming on, so she might be listening. Well, why wouldn't you know. tell her? I did tell her. Oh, I was going to say, you may step she's in that probably door. probably wondering why he's out of bed so early. <laughs> you know what she's doing now? Grabbing a coat. She's <laughs> popping in the car. She's headed to IGA. Grab all the stuff to make Alfredo. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we'll text her. Tell her get going. Gazardo's <laughs> makes it, too. I just order it. I wouldn't cook it. Yeah, Gazardo's is good, too. Yeah. And that'd be enough you could take some home. I'm back to school tomorrow. You go, tell her to make you a big old bucket of it. You can take it home with you and put it in the freezer. <laughs> Oh, you probably don't have a freezer. Maybe no. just a little warm <laughs> freezer. Yeah. Yeah. I tell, you, I tell you, college kids, you forget how easy you had it. <laughs> college you know? kids got I it made. Can't, I can't wait to get out of here. Now, now look at you. Yeah. They know. Too, yeah. They know how it is. Titus, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Boy, it's getting windy. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by today. Uh, you know, we'll keep some tabs on you. And uh, next time you're in town, let us know. Get you back on. And, uh. You know, maybe you'll have a little more information on your, <laughs> your school. <laughs> you write some stuff down, all right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, that's Titus Cannon, former Railer. He's up at Rockford University playing some football. Uh, we're going to take a commercial break. We come back. Coach Sokowski is going to call and uh, tell us a little bit about last night's game. So stay tuned. You're in the cheap seats on 96.3 FM. Uh, 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 uh. Let's go there, Jake. <laughs> Good start. Um, I believe that was Rum DMC. <laughs> Is that right? No. Uh, no. J. Cole. Uh, J. Cole. <laughs> <laughs> it was not J. Cole. It was not uh, Run DMC. It was Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. No. I don't think so. Yeah. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, welcome back to the Cheap Seats 96.3 FM. 
We are at the Hampton Inn on the west side. Still got Titus with us. We're waiting for Coach Sokowski to give us a call and talk about last night's game. Uh, some other scores going on around the Apollo. Effingham beats Macomb 54 to 19. Ooh, big win. Uh, Matt Toon over Muhammad 31 28. And Mount Zion 23, Charleston 6. Uh, Any surprises in there, Scotty? Well, you know, uh, maybe that Muhammad Mattoon score. Uh, Mattoon, you know, decent team. You know, the solid. Muhammad usually has a pretty solid program, but, uh, you know, that Mattoon, those sneaky little. Well, that Taylorville Railers score. Yeah, and uh, Taylorville Railers. That just didn't roll off the tongue roll. I mean, it's, you know. I just read it backwards because I, I had the plate halfway covered. <laughs> with what? Or the, the paper halfway covered with the plate. Yeah, uh, last night's score, uh, the Railers 26 and the Tornadoes 43. Uh, we're going to talk to Coach. He's going to call in here in a few minutes. Uh, but first, congratulations to Coach Ken Leonard of Sacred Heart Griffin. He is Illinois' all-time winningest coach at 375 wins. He blew out his son uh, last night uh, and the Rochester Rockets, 45-6. to six. And uh, <laughs> so congratulations to him. And we're going to take this call right now. Jim, you got it? boy. And uh, I'm assuming this is Coach Sokowski. Yes, how are you guys doing this morning? We're doing good, Coach. Thanks for taking some time to give us a call. Uh, first of all, uh, last night's game, you got to be pretty pleased with, uh, obviously not the, the scoreboard, but uh, just the way your kids played, Coach. Uh, I thought they played a phenomenal game last night. Uh, you know, the uh, Taylorville comes out the first drive, and they score under 30 seconds. And in the back of your mind, you got to be thinking, oh, boy, here we go. Uh, but Taylorville, they're uh, able to score another touchdown up 14-0, and then your kids kind of responded and got themselves right back in the game. And, uh, you know, they held their own. Uh, you know, I know the scoreboard doesn't show it, Coach, but uh, you got to be pretty pleased with your kids' performance last night. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, they go down, they score, you know, made it look really easy out the gate. And, you know, we put the ball on the ground a little bit early a few times. And, yeah, you know, it's you know, like I kind of, kind of told our guys before the game, is you know, you get an opportunity to play the third-ranked team in your class tonight. Let's just go out and, you know, ball out and have fun and, you know, do what we can do. And then it just kind of, you know, we're doing, moving the ball. And really, really happy with the way we, we threw the ball last night and the way our guys protected up front in the passing game. Um, you know, play a lot of resiliency, you know. There have been times this season where we, we've gotten flags you know, on penalties on big plays, and we've kind of crumbled a little bit. But that didn't happen last night. You know, we, we made some mistakes, had some penalties, but we were able to overcome those things and respond with another big play. So really happy with, with that. Yeah, Taylorville kind of known for a passing team. Uh, I thought your defensive line did a phenomenal job on getting some pressure to uh, their quarterback, Odom. Uh, which helps out your uh, your DBs a little bit in coverage. Uh, yeah, they were able to complete, uh, you know, a few long passes. But uh, other than that, you know, I thought uh, you guys were able to contain their passing game a little bit and uh, and kind of control the field a little bit, uh, you know, with your defensive line who had pressure all night. Yeah, you know, they're, you know, even all, all state quarterback, all state receiver, you know, they're, they're going to make plays in the passing game. Uh, you know, we were just going in, and our goal was to just try to limit and reduce the number of those plays that they made. You know, they're, that's what they do. They they live on the big play, uh, and it's you know, just try to try to you know reduce those. And I thought for the most part, we did a pretty good job. You know, all night long of doing that. Um, you know, they made some big plays when they had to, but you know, we did on offense as well. And you know. Thought we did a good job stopping their run game again. You know, they didn't really hurt us too bad in the run game, which is a step in the right direction from where we were a year ago. Um, just keep getting better. And some guys stepped up last night due to injury, you know, especially on the offensive side. You know, really happy. You know, Colton Holiday took another step in the, you know, big step in the right direction. And Jaden Graham, when he made the most out of his opportunities with a touchdown and a big two point conversion there for us. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of positives. You know, we, Washed in the turnover battle, 2-2, uh, which is good. We're, we're taking care of the football, you know, again this you know this week, which we're happy happy to see. 
Coach, we got uh, former Railer Titus Cannon on with us this morning, and uh, he's pretty impressed with you guys. Yeah. You, you want to say hi, right. Titus? What's up, Coach? How you doing, Titus? Good seeing you last night. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. We, we miss Titus. You know, he, he was a big part of what we did, and but you know, glad that you know some guys are trying, you know, stepping up and replacing the big shoes that that he left to fill for our guys. You were uh, you're talking about uh, Colton Holiday, and Titus is pretty disappointed that he didn't play football, you know, in the past. You know, his first year, and uh, you know, like you said, he's he's really improving and stepping up his game. And just imagine if this kid would have been playing football the past three or four years. Yeah, and I think in, in conversations with with Colton, I think he kind of feels the same way. I, I really think he's having a good experience with us, and uh, I think he enjoys the game and which is he played and yeah you know it's kind of hard to say you know what if he he had played for for many years and what you know what could have been you know this season or even last year with Titus's group and you know I had another playmaker you know and you know who knows anything's possible so right. well, we're may- happy though and yeah maybe uh along. maybe you could use Colton as maybe a, a recruiting tool you know get him out to these uh schools and recruit these kids saying hey you know i played football my senior year and i wish i would have done it before and uh you know maybe that could be a positive uh influence on some of these younger kids you know trying to yeah. make that decision whether to play football or not absolutely yeah i mean we're you know with the school of our size you know we need as many kids in our program and to do as many sports as possible you know just try to get kids to come on give us a try and you know for the most part i think when they do do that you know, they're, they end up being happy with their experience with us, and, you know, they do wish they would have would have played, you know, all four years. Right. Well, Coach, you're coming off, uh, you know, a loss to probably the number one team in the, the conference, and uh, you played them tough, and, and you got a game coming up next Friday against a, a very beatable team in Charleston, uh, going to be on the road. What can you tell us about Charleston a little bit uh, as you prepare for them this week? Oh, uh, you know, you're a real good running back. You know, they've got a pretty good run game. Uh, a big kid uh, runs the ball very physical. Uh, quarterback can make some throws when he needs to. Uh, you know, there's obviously some holes there. You know, some things that we can take advantage of, and you know, it's got to keep building on what we did last night and to get this thing back on track to where we want to be. But they'll be a good opponent. You know, we're we're one and four. They'll be they're zero and five now. So obviously, you know they're going to look at this game for them and say this is an opportunity for them to get their their season on the right track as well. So they're going to be motivated. They're going to they're going to feel that this is their you know best opportunity to win a football game this season as well. So we got a it's going to be a hard fought game. We know that you know they have you know we we did it, we played it very well against them last year, and I know they're not going to forget that that either so they're going to have something to prove you know tomorrow or next friday night as well right well coach thanks for taking some time uh let you get back to game tape and uh got the kids probably coming in this morning uh and uh get it prepared for next friday as we travel to charleston to take on the uh i think it's the trojans isn't it so uh good luck next friday and uh bring back that second victory all right thanks guys we'll talk to you next weekend all right coach thanks that is Coach Sikowski, coach of your Lincoln Railer football squad. Uh, tough loss, loss last night, Joe. Uh, you know, you were at the game. Uh, Taylorville is one of those schools that, you know, they, they come in. They've been a, a solid football program for years. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to lie. I thought coming in last night it probably wouldn't be much of a game just because how Taylorville has performed in the past and, you know, what they're, what they're doing this year. They got two All-Staters on there. And uh, I thought Lincoln held their own. And, uh, you know, they played really well. They actually did. They played very well. I thought, uh, like I say, Posegay played, I thought, was what he did, you know, stepping out of the pocket, up underneath pressure and, and rolling out, buying himself some time. He'd get the... Uh, Get that ball up on his shoulder, you know, and so guys still have to back up DBs. You know, if he got that ball up on his shoulder, DBs still got to play defense back there. He'd leave it up there long enough where, you know, it was giving him an extra step or two running the ball because those guys weren't coming forward. He would he would run laterally and buy himself some time, and he he threw some BBs to some kids that made great catches. Uh, you know, Graham's catching the end zone. He was up high grabbing it. I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't holidays. know. 
don't uh, I don't have stats on the game, but uh, just kind of wondering how many rushing yards uh, Posgay had because uh, a lot of those pass plays broke down, and it seemed like maybe their middle linebackers were I don't know if they were in coverage or they were over pursuing, but Posgay had some uh, some gaps up the middle to get some big yardage. Well, I thought the key was that the the ends just kept coming upfield. I mean, Posgay was smart enough to look around, and all those tackles had to do was shove them on up, and he could step, step up underneath them and pocket. Had, and he had a lot of time to look for people. That bought him a lot of time, and he threw some BBs last night there, and some great catches. You know, Badanovich coming out of that backfield is a stud too. He he does a great job of, of rolling out into that flat, and that's a tough ball to catch. I mean, you know that. Yeah. A tough ball to catch over your shoulder, and then turn up field, keep your balance, and turn up field. He made a couple of nice plays on that. Um, the, uh, the Lincoln's offense looked very good, and you know, you look at the 43 uh, points on that you give up on defense, and nobody likes to give all that up, but. Uh, it, really, the defense played well. Uh, you know, penalties on both teams. I know Taylorville had some big penalties they were complaining about. Um, and, and then we had a few. And But all, overall, I thought the, the Lincoln kids played real well last night. That was, a, that was a fun game to watch. Yeah, it was. And, uh, you know, hats off to them. Well, nothing, nothing. No hats, hats off. Well, nothing. Jim's over there half asleep. He's <laughs> he's coming back. Yeah, no, uh, for five years. I know. I was just trying to throw something out there. I, I think that Lincoln absolutely frustrated Tennessee because they could never pull away. Yeah, and, and that, uh, that's you know. What, I didn't talk to Jeb today. Last night I did a little bit. He didn't look real happy going up to talk to the radio guys after the game. Yeah, they he just didn't. They just never could pull away. And I thought they really always thought they were going to. Oh, and, um, yeah, and and you were kind of waiting for that, but uh, you know they would score and then get up by you know 10 or so and then Lincoln would score right you know and uh, I think that one of the last possessions Lincoln had when they went three and out this were kind of kind of hurt and they just couldn't keep up with that tempo we've seen that all season where the Railers you know they play a tough tough first half and they're right in the game and then second half they just they got kids going both ways and they just don't have the depth uh, you know to play a full four quarters and nothing against the kids it's just you're going to get tired and get wore out and uh, you know it's it's hard to face up against a team where you got a like and you know coach said an all state quarterback and an we're all big receiver and yeah. we're big yeah. yeah it's hard on the kids yeah it um, is. the uh Jeff said that their big problem is going to be they're, they're small up front, and they are. I mean, Lincoln's have a, has a yeah, huge yeah. line. Yeah, we, we got some pressure on uh, Odom last night, uh, the quarterback, and, you know, had him scrambling. I don't know if he's uh, – does he like to be in the pocket more or does he want to get out of that pocket and uh, kind of do a little bootleg because last night he was on the run. He was on the run a lot, but he's a very athletic kid. He can throw either way. We just, you know, played some uh, – we played good D. Uh yeah, you know, uh, a whole different ball club than what we saw at homecoming. Really? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, good for them. Uh, hopefully they can go over to Charleston. And if they play like they did last night, they're going to come home with another victory. Uh, Joe, while you're inside there getting you some, some breakfast, uh, Coach Leonard Waffles, last night. Man. Coach Leonard gets his 375th win. Uh, he's the all-time winningest coach in Illinois. And it came to in the hands of blowing out the Rochester Rockets and his son in the Leonard Bowl, 45 to six. Uh, I didn't think it'd be that bad. I didn't either. Uh, I think his son rolled over for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's sure gonna make the holidays better if he does. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Dad. No, I, I don't. I don't think that's the I case don't at think all. That's the case but, at all. Uh, you know, Rochester struggled last week with MacArthur. Uh, it's not the powerhouse Rochester we're used to seeing. Well, MacArthur's good, too. MacArthur's year, solid. Yeah, they are good. They're, they're fast. They like to hit. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's a pretty decisive win for Coach Coach Ken Leonard. Yes, you know, and, and then you look at, uh, at Rochester, you know, they just beat, as we spoke last weekend about, they beat the number uh, America's team. <laughs> they just spoke about the uh, the uh, beating MacArthur, the tenth ranked team, you know, in five A, yeah. and they're a four A school. So, yeah, they had their hands full of SHG. I didn't think it would be that bad. Well, you look at that. Look, I mean, I, I know we're in the Apollo, but you come and look at that Central State eight again. Oh, look boy. at all these ranked teams: Ooh. MacArthur, Glenwood's back Chatham's in the mix. Back, Ch uh, you know, obviously SHG, Rochester. Uh, man, it's just... Well, you know, you're just sitting there in silence. You were you were well, part it, of both conferences. You were part yeah. of both, Titus. Uh, and, and we know we... 
we're where we belong now, but there was something about that Central State 8 that was fun to play in. I was mean, it? yeah, it was always exciting knowing that you were playing against some of the best teams. Yeah. And obviously we didn't, like, compete as well as we uh, wanted to, but it was exciting to play knowing that you were playing against good competition. Yeah, those guys, those guys are <laughs> that that conference is just loaded yeah. with yeah. talent. And even if you played a school that was, you know, two and five, yeah, it's just, you know, they had some good. There's seven athletes yeah. on that. On that <laughs> I was team. gonna say, look look at the teams towards the bottom there with U High and uh, Jacksonville, who's, who's pretty good. Jacksonville, Jacksonville who's pretty good. Springfield, Oof. yeah, that, that's Southeast. tough. Uh, some other football, uh, local football, and uh, it's got some ties to Lincoln. How about them Warrensburg Latham Cardinals, 42 to 14 over Shelbyville. They're five and zero on the season, Joe. The Frickies, they've got them rolling in I Warrensburg. I stopped by over there on Wednesday and watched practice for a little bit and uh, just visited with him. And uh, you know that that win five there was huge for them because uh, I mean I don't know that conference you know real well, but. The five wins puts him in a spot to get in the playoffs in his first year over there. And that's a big deal because last year's Warrensburg team graduated a lot of kids that were there. They, they weren't expected to do what they're doing because they, gra they lost a lot of athletes, uh, some playmakers from off the school, off the team last year. But uh, Fricky's got them rolling over there. I stopped by and saw him. And he called me an old man, which I thought was, well, I didn't know. Deserved. Well, <laughs> yeah. He, he said, I saw the old, I said, I looked over and said, who is that old man walking over here? And I got up there, that's what he said to me. I said, man, I'll tell you what, son. Uh, I want to embarrass you in front of these kids over here. But no, I didn't. I got back in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Too far of a walk? Yeah. <laughs> Had a guy in a golf cart come get me and take me back to the car. Uh, hey, some other... Uh, What's going on now? That? That? Chitty Chitty Bang <laughs> Bang. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of something wrong with my headset. Uh, oh, wow. Uncle hey, uh, some <laughs> other uh, some lo other local sports going on today. The uh, boys soccer team they're in Lincoln today for their tournament at nine o'clock. They're nine and six on the season, having a pretty good year. Uh, nine thirty, the boys and girls cross country. They're going to be in Springfield at the invite. And our girls, Varsity and JV Tennis, they're in Springfield as well. Uh, both of those start at 9.30. And uh, our marching band, what are we laughing at? Titus is just making funny faces. Over oh. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you ever going to run cross country? <laughs> <laughs> I knew he didn't miss it. I knew it. I'm sorry. He's good, man. Uh, no He's good. speech person. Are you, are you a cost, cost fitter too? <laughs> I said cross. <laughs> I'm cold, all right? <laughs> Anybody that's a cost fitter, would you stop <laughs> on by out here? And, anyway, uh, 2 o'clock, the marching band at Mount Zion for a competition. <laughs> there. Hey, how we is, laugh with you. Is, I'm not laughing. <laughs> well, the rest of us are. Appreciate the fact that you guys don't that. know, I go home and cry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you right there, there's the man. He's the one that looked right up. Look at him. Uh, I don't like looking at him. Uh, another uh, youth wrestling, uh, they're going to have a meeting October 17th at 7 o'clock. We're having a meeting. At the Lincoln <laughs> Community High School Cafe. We have several meetings. <laughs> but they're having a that real one. Funny. And theirs will accomplish something. Uh, get a hold of Walt if you're, uh, you are got a youth that wants to wrestle. It's a phenomenal program. And, uh, you know, you should be excited because the Lincoln wrestling program is getting pretty big. Why didn't you wrestle, Titus? I played basketball. You'd have been a good wrestler, too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, my brother's wrestled in junior high. It, yeah, well, you'd have been a good wrestler. Yeah. Tank would have been a good wrestler in <laughs> high school. I mean, it'd be hard to... Tank, just a bulldog. <laughs> I think he wrestled his freshman and sophomore year, but I think he had, like... He didn't I think like, it hurt he, his knee or he something. He didn't yeah. like wearing that, uh, <laughs> whatever you call that. Singlet. Singlet. Yeah. Singlet. He didn't like that. <laughs> called a onesie <laughs> <laughs> it's a onesie i say well i get austin o'donohue out here and roll you up on this guy <laughs> you can call it a onesie <laughs> call whatever i want <laughs> maybe we'll change it to a onesie <laughs> <laughs> maybe a little uh let me go ahead right. hey, hey, hey you got a magenta going nice I, I do well you know some people are prepared mm. others aren't mm. You're like a tube of preparation like, age, what? man. You are ready. There's not two pages. No. Oh, yeah. I still got a lot to cover here, but we need to take a commercial break. Titus is freezing yeah. over here. It is cold. He's chatting. <laughs> it is the cold. wind's right in his face. <laughs> yeah. That's why it's hard to talk. 
hear you say cross country. Cross country. Yeah. Is that what you said? <laughs> cross country. <laughs> No, nope, we're going to break. <laughs> no, we're going to break on that, Joe. <laughs> the old man just kicked us off the air. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll, 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 we might be back out of the <laughs> Take Hit it. Roll. roll it. Into the downtown. Bring us back, Titus. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. What show, show? What show is, is it? Who? He doesn't even know what show it is. WLCN. Yeah. WLCN. Who are you? Titus Cannon. Well, tell us that. I'm Titus Cannon. Oh. I'm Titus Cannon. You're not Titus Cannon. <laughs> You're not Titus Cannon. Welcome back You're to the Cheap Seats. Hey, uh, did you guys watch the Illinois game last night? No. Well, if no. you watched the first three quarters, you would have been pretty excited. Uh, yeah. But after that, the, the wheels fell off. Uh, they played Penn State tough, uh, but just uh, couldn't hold on with uh, the number rank, number ten ranked team in the nation. Uh, it's your Penn State Nittany Lions. Yeah, 63-24. I got it right here. Boom. Oh, you said hey. the rest of it up. Hey. Oh, 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 boom. 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 Have you seen how organized he is? It's he unbelievable. Said, <laughs> he now. said boom. Boom. Uh, so yeah, you want to pull some other games here? That that's what's going on today? All right, there. All right let's Brother, see. Top twenty-five. Top twelve. Well, let's see. Michigan State, Indiana. Indiana three and zero. That's a pretty solid program right there, Jake. What do you think? I don't think so. Michigan State will <laughs> blow them out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they'll blow them out. Oh, it's a blowout. Where's it at? It's at Indiana, and Michigan State's the only favorite four and a half. Jake, Ooh. that's not a blowout. That is a good one to throw some money on. Uh, Stanford, Oregon. Who do you like there? Uh, I like Stanford. Why? Because they're getting two and a half? Uh, What's Oregon's record? They're not getting two and a half. They're giving. I, I was going to say, I think they're three, both 3-0. Three oh. Is Oregon's record on that? Oregon's 3-0. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Well, Oregon's ranked 20. How about 20. Wisconsin, Iowa? Whiskey. You like whiskey? I like whiskey. I like Iowa. It's at Iowa. It is Your Iowa. home team guy. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, uh, good. Nice job. Yeah. Good job. Well, I was hey, also uh, three and zero right now. Real quick, kind of we got about five minutes to go. All right. Uh, big game tomorrow, boys. A big game tomorrow. Good. You got America's team, the Bears versus their <laughs> America's team. <laughs> so you got America's team. America's team versus America's team. No, we're America. There's no way in us. Whatever. We're America's is, team. Is uh, Tom Zach supposed to start that game? Yes. <laughs> Neil Lomax so playing for the Cardinals. Lomax. He just pulled up. He's he parked just, right he's over there. He's in that semi right there. <laughs> hey, what? I, I bet he's, he's he's as agile as Bradford. So, oh gosh, <laughs> the Arizona Cardinals hey, are ugly. We might get to see old Mike Glennon again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> they may at halftime take people out of the stands to see if somebody wants to play. <laughs> yeah, what's up with that team? I, it's unbelievable. I don't know how you can actually pay people money, practice all summer. Practice. And look that bad. They, they've been bad. Is, man. is Bruce Arians still the coach? He's not, no. is he? Who's no. coach now? Mike, uh, Mike Ditka. <laughs> Dennis Green. <laughs> <laughs> we knew what they were. If you want to crown them, crown them. They, they are who we thought they were. Crown their <laughs> That's great. He's pounding on that podium. If you want to crown them, crown them. Uh, you know what, though? I, it's going to be fun, and I'm, the Cardinals are just going to whoop them up. You know, let's just have fun and get that out of the way. Is there a spread on that game? No, I'm sh uh, six and a half last I looked. Bear, the Bears and Cardinals. Gosh, it'd be fun if they were both good. <laughs> the Bears are pretty good. <laughs> you think they're good? Allegedly. Yeah. I, I think they are. Were they one and one? Yeah. As soon as they get that offense clicking. <sighs> yeah, it's going to click. Uh, you know what? It, the, I, it, I'm yeah, really, yeah, I'm not very hopeful. You don't even know what to say. That's Def Leppard. I'm just checking on you. Did you know that? No, no man. Uh, uh, I'm going to get you some Def Leppard stuff. He likes that. I'm going to get you some Def Leppard, some Tom Petty. Who is it? King Cole? J. Cole. J. Cole. J. Cole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that King Tut? <laughs> Jay well, Cole. we'd play some on here. Is it? Is it? Do we have? Are there many Jay dirty Cole? words in that? A few. Yeah, some of his songs. Uh, uh, you better, don't pull. We it might up. play some on. 
No, I Jim can it. find that stuff. He bring it up for us. He's, unless he's country, he ain't pulling it up. <laughs> <laughs> so big game tomorrow. Uh, real quick, Jake, baseball. Boy, we're coming down to the wire. Uh, Cubs fans. Final week, right? Yeah, I think we're in some trouble. You uh, think the Cubbies are in trouble? I think we're we're going to make the playoffs. It, it playoffs? Probably in a wild card the way we're playing right now. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, is that bad? I'm concerned. Our bullpen is hurt. Uh, we How probably, confident would you be if you had to go into a one-game playoff with the St. Louis Cardinals not right good. now? I'm not confident. I'm not confident at all. What's That's right. Hit my music. <laughs> this song that makes me makes me want to puke. You ever heard anything like it, Titus? No. Yeah. You, and you won't. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you want to see a so, winner. So, uh, yeah. So the uh, let's see. The Brewers are a game and a half behind in the division uh, for that spot. The Cardinals are probably still about six or so. Uh, <laughs> Something like that. Six we're, or so. We're in that so that show. But you're in the running <laughs> I, for that wild card spot. I tell spot. you what, we're a game and a half over uh, Colorado right now. Yeah. For the wild card. So, and holding tight, but Colorado's playing some good ball, too. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's coming down. And uh, the Red Sox, they've already clinched their division. Red Sox as well as Cleveland, uh, Houston. Or Cle Houston's in. I guess they haven't actually clinched the division yet. Uh, nobody in the National League has clinched a thing. I, I would say Atlanta's going to clinch. I think they need one, two, 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 two or a, a win and a Phillies loss, and they're in. Or two wins or two Phillies losses. However it wants to work out. Yeah. 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 It'll work <laughs> itself out. <laughs> It'll all be where it be. Oh, boy. So you, uh, you think that helps or hurts socks? When you clinch that early, do you, do you lose some edge? Does it gain some edge? Do you get a rest? Does I it take away your... Well, for them, they were wanting to get some pitching rest going into the playoffs. So, I guess in a way that doesn't doesn't bother them. But they're still hitting the heck out of the ball. And they're up to 105 wins now. So, it's and a pretty what, good team. There's still, what, a week left. I mean, yeah. was it uh, seven? I think they got seven, eight, nine, nine games left. Wow. You got a favorite baseball team? Uh, I'd have to say the Cubs. Atta boy. Why would you have to? Do you feel threatened by him? <laughs> no. That, like, I mean, he's large, but I'm going to wait. Don't you no, let him threaten you. <laughs> my, uh, my parents, uh, their favorite team is Cubs, and we went to a Cubs game uh, this summer, I believe. Can you name more than one player on the team? Yeah. Chris Bryant, Javi Baez. There you go. Anthony ding, Rizzo. ding, ding, ding. We've got a winner <laughs> down here. Uh-huh. <laughs> Atta that's boy. more than a lot of Cubs can name. <laughs> that's that's pretty good. good. <laughs> that is not we even should give true. a prize out. <laughs> All right, it's time to go, folks. It's 10:01, and oh, oh Jake, you got to open the store. Jim doesn't pay overtime, <laughs> so we're gonna call it right here. I'd like to thank the Hampton Inn for having us. Hey, great breakfast going on in there. Did you get a waffle? <laughs> no. Uh, it's over. It's over at 10. I'd like to thank Joe for showing up. <laughs> and uh, we will be open a box of chuckles, Lloyd. Next week we are. We don't know. Somewhere. <laughs> it's always a mystery. It's a surprise. But we're at the same spot on that radio dial. Same spot on the radio <laughs> dial. Same time on that clock. Talk to you next week. Good day.